Hey guys, it's Gonzalo Delmer again, and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because that's really gonna help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm gonna continue the videos on Magic Leap. We're gonna be looking at how to make visual effect graph work with Magic Leap and then what hacks I needed to do to actually make that work. So the video that you see above me is what you're gonna be creating. I already did some of that, so I'm gonna walk you through the graph. And then just so you know, the editor doesn't work well on macOS, but we're gonna be able to make it work somehow. So I'm gonna be jumping into Unity, showing you some of the details, showing you the manifest, and then everything that you need to do to make this work. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what I had to do to make this work. And I'm going to mention Stephen again, because he's the one that actually helped me with making this work. And according to him, this works well in Windows. You can see the particles in the editor. I'm running on Mac OS Catalina, so I can see the particles. I know that it works because I was actually able to deploy this to the Magic Leap device, and I show you in the beginning of the video. So I know that it's working. It's just for some reason it doesn't want to render the particles. And I try as much as I can, but we have to use a specific versions in order for this to work. I'm hoping that when these get released to 2019.3 and the final version, and Magic Leap has a new updated SDK, everything is going to work. Also know that if I show you how to do this, this is just gonna work with particles. The SDK for Magic Leap is not supported on this version, so I just wanna make sure and clarify that before you go ahead and try this. If you wanna try it, try it so that you can see the particles, but anything else is not gonna work well. So what I wanna do is I'm going to also show you this link in the description of this video. This actually goes through some of the errors that you might, might encounter as you install 2019.3. And, and Alicia says specifically that 2019.3 is not supported for Lumin SDK 022.0. So we know that, but it's going to work with particles and that's what I wanted to, I wanted to show you in this video. So I'm gonna put the link in the description of this video and then I'm also going to show you what I had to do to make this work on, on Mac OS. That it's kind of a hack. And the reason why I call it a hack is because I had to make sure that I had all the values copied from another version to this version. So if we jump into another version that I have right here, so I'm just going to open up. So I have this other project, right? That is 2018.3.0v7. So same version of Unity, except that this is running on the high definition rendering pipeline. This one right here from Magic Leap is using the universal rendering pipeline which used to be called the lightweight rendering pipeline so i i noticed that the particles weren't weren't actually rendering i know that they're rendering in this project so what i did is i started uh, doing a visual effect that was going to be similar to what i was going to be bringing in magic leap and basically just copy the values back and forth so i'm going to show you the the particle effect so that you can see what we're going to be and it's not going to be perfect because they're both different pipelines and they're gonna look a lot different. As you can see in the video, it's gonna look different than this. But this is actually the particle system that we we push to the device. So you can see that the particle system is, is right here and it's just, you know, basically a sphere. Particles are comforting to the position of the sphere. I have a radius, I can change the radio if I want and that's going to change the the shape. And one of the things that I that I wanted to do is I wanted to add also a total time so that I could move those around. I could do, you know, if I wanted to go bigger, you're gonna see that that's slightly going to be a little bit bigger. And actually if we go, let's actually go much smaller. And anyway, so that's that doesn't really make so many changes. What if I change the stick force? And you can see how that is changing the graph. So I'm using, you know, period total time and comfort to sphere on the update particle node, turbulence, and, and basically a quad output that shows the gradient, an override on the color, and setting the size of the particles. So it's a pretty simple visual effects graph. I have, on this one I have 10,000 on the RAID, on the capacity I have about 100,000. So I wanted to keep it simple because this was gonna go to Magic Leap. Magic Leap is not running on an RTX 2080. So I didn't want to go crazy with that. So that's basically what I did is I created a graph here and then I have all the notes down and then I go into my other version of Unity, which is running the Magic Leap SDK and, and everything related to Magic Leap. So I basically just pasted those values. So 
I'm gonna close out of this because it's slowing down having two versions and specifically because there's so many particles running. So so what I had to do here is I, just like I did on every other video, is I created a, a visual effects graph, I right click in here, and I went into my, my visual effects, and then click on that, and then it creates this node, and then I basically populated all the different nodes. So this video is not for VFX in details from the beginning, so um, I want to make sure that you already know that. If you don't know how to do graphs, make sure that you watch my tutorial my tutorials on visual effects graph, and I can give you where I give you more details on how to work with it. But other than that, I have the visual effects graph in here. I have it in here. And then what I ended up doing is I created a cube, and this cube is a position one on the C-axis, and it has a proper scaling. So I wanted to make sure that I had a cube right in, right in front of the camera. And not only that, but I also wanted to make sure that my visuals, which has the visual effects, was going to be at the same location. So this was more of a test for me to find out, okay, where is the red cube? Do I have particles? Yes or no? I do have particles, and I know the particles are working in Magic Leap. So now that I have that information and I have this, now how can I make this work? And, and this wasn't working out of the box. And specifically, if you don't do what I'm gonna what I'm gonna show you, because you're gonna get Unity Linker errors. So you're gonna get this error that they're talking about in this post. And, and the reason for that is because Magic Leap is not supported in 2019.3, except if you use a specific version of the Magic Leap SDK. It's, it's still, the, the SDK won't work, but it'll compile, and you'll be able to see particles. So if we go back in here, and we look at my manifest, this is a manifest that Steven in Twitter shared with me, and I'm really grateful for that because I'm able to see particles. So I make sure that I copy everything that he sent me, and Everything that, that is specifically for Magic Leap and the rendering pipeline and visual effects is what we need to make sure that we have. So you need to have rendering pipeline universal version 7.1.2. You need to have the same version of visual effects graph. You need to make sure that we have the AR subsystem at 2.1.1. The interaction subsystem is gonna be this version. Make sure that you have the legacy input helpers, the Magic Leap SDK. So this is the one that they were commenting in that forum post that you have to have. Otherwise, that Unity Linker error, it's going to come up. You need to make sure that you have 4.0.0-preview.3. And I, I didn't really go to the package manager and did those changes, so I did it directly in the manifest. So he sent me that information. I pasted it in here. And you can do that with anything in here, as long as you know that the version is available. If you save this file and then you go back into Unity, Unity is going to look for changes in that file. If there's changes, if there's a new version, it's going to update those packages. So I did that for this and also for the XR Manager, I have 3.0.0. So for the most part, these are going to be the things that are required for this video. So let me just move these down for making sure that v VFX Craft works on 2019.3 with Magic Leap. So make sure that you have these packages that I have that I have highlighted in here. And if you do that and you build it and you push it to your device, you're gonna get, basically you're gonna see what I show you in the beginning of the video. So let me just show you that video one more time, which I have somewhere in here, I believe. I actually put it under, so let me go into my Dropbox. I was just downloading some of those. So if we look at this, this was downloaded just this morning and then I recorded it last night. So you can see that you know the particles are rendering. Let me make this smaller because the the resolution on this is not is not that great. So there we go, and we can just watch it one more time. So this is the particle system. I have thousands of particles rendering at once. You can see the the red cube in the middle of the screen there. And like I said, I did that just so that I that I knew where the red cube was in case the particles were gonna be in a render. So. One thing that I noticed as well, the, every particle in here is yellow. So if I go back into Unity and we look at the colors that I have, I because it's really hard to see the output, I can't really see the particles in here. I ended up you know, making changes to the colors and that just didn't look right. So just make sure that you play with those colors and, and hopefully if you're running this in Windows, according to Stephen from Twitter, it should be rendering the particles. So I'm gonna be testing that on my Windows machine as soon as I get a chance. And if we go down in here, I just wanna show you. So what I'm noticing is I think the color here is taking precedence over the gradient. So I might just change this to a lower number 
and then test it again and see what results I get on the particles. I want to see more of a gradient, so I might just even just take, you know, maybe uncheck this node so that I can see the particles on the device, and then I'll show you the results. I'm going to be posting the results in Twitter as I make more changes to this, and then also make changes to the way that this works, but actually run it in Windows so that I can see the particles. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you much for watching this video today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions on VFX Scrap with Magic Leap, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.